SoundCloud rappers and BandLab rappers are either the most heavenly sent rappers that be blessing us with music from time to time, or completely dog shit rappers who make you want to tear out your eardrums after one listen. So today I decided to make a tier list of all the trash underground rappers and where they rank in terms of garbageness. Underground artists have shifted their music to a more rage aesthetic, so now they're rapping on extremely obnoxious loud beats. And all of this can be accredited to one album that made niggas realize, damn, this shit hard. And this rage aesthetic has bred some pretty good artists in my opinion. Or at least that's what I would be saying if Homicide Gang didn't exist. And not Homicide Gang as a whole, but Homicide Bean. But the nigga ruins the experience with the whole collective. And it's not like I'm the only one who feels this way, because Homicide Bino is critically unliked in the underground. Now to be fair, I'm gonna play devil's advocate here. I do like some of their songs. Homicide Gang has gotta have some of the hardest rock samples in rap. I can't lie about that. But the rest of this shit is just repetitive. And notice how I said earlier that their name is Homicide Gang? They're a duo, a collective. But Homicide Bean always gets 99% of the runtime. I'm pretty sure the amount of times I've heard Michi on a chorus can be counted on just one of my hands. And that nigga is barely even a feature. Like, he gets 30 seconds at most on his own song. It's like they be in the booth and Michi starts rapping. And the second the nigga goes over 10 seconds, Bino's just like, <laughs> Not around here, partner. <laughs> not around here. I ain't believing it, man. It's not moving me. Now, if you're asking why I don't like Homicide Bino, he touches kids. You what? Dom Corleo. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Dom Corleo's not that bad. Dom Corleo is bad at making music, period. And one of the main issues I have with him is his obnoxious voice. His beats be so fire, but then I hear it. There's just something about the way he raps that just makes me wanna... And it's also the fact that he's fucking cringe. Ever since the interview where he was sitting next to those females just to look cool, I can never take this nigga serious since that day. Now, would I ever put Dom in my playlist? <laughs> Fuck no. But he's bearable to listen to. Green tip, Jace. five inch dick with a blade. Okay, this pick is gonna be a little controversial because I don't actually hate Jace for his music, but it's just the way he acts that landed him a spot on this list. It seems like every week I wake up, it's almost guaranteed I'm gonna wake up to another Jace beef. It's actually impressive how many people Jace gets into beef with, and he still stands untouched. Like, explain to me, how do you as a rapper find a way to jump out of your own industry to jump into another industry just to start beefing a streamer? That's a fact. Yeah, shut the f*** up, lying ass. ass. Keep going, though. Don't listen to me. Musty bitch. Keep going, though. Lying ass bitch. I never said I ain't called. Damn near every single underground personality on the internet has probably had beef with Jace. But since we're basing this list on music, I guess that he gets a pass. Jace is just an iconic underground crash out. And he also snitched for an RB Sam. Yapo JJ. Yapo JJ is like if Destroying Lonely was even more depressed. Like so depressed that the nigga just quit making good music. And it's not even like Yapo JJ is bad. But you have to be in a certain mood to enjoy his music. Like your whole roster had to have collectively cheated on you. You failed three exams. Your car broke down. And on top of that, you tripped while walking up the stairs. Only then can you hit the play button and really feel the lyrics. But let's get into the real reason why he's on this list. This nigga had the audacity to beef my King Jace. To which I mean, of course. Must be bitch. But still, where is this nigga getting the confidence from? Yapo JJ's music is not bad, but in comparison to Jace, oh, this nigga is butt cheeks. So just because of that beef, this nigga is getting a spot in the okay category. Nest bag. There's never been an artist I believe was so bad at making music that I would rather click off a video, go to my YouTube search bar, and listen to the latest You Know my Miles song than the artist. If Nespen doesn't quit making music, I'm generally gonna kill myself. Like, like I'm, I'm actually gonna kill myself. This nigga doesn't quit today. If I hear another Nespen song, I'm going to die. Okay, okay. Let's take a second to look at the positives real quick. Nespen has good beats. Nespen has a few good songs. Heck, I'd even say it. Nespen has been a good artist sometimes. Smoking Skull. There's never been an artist I believe was so bad at making music. Smoking Skull is arguably worse than Nespen, I'm not gonna lie. Whenever I listen to a Smoking Skull song, I start getting anxiety. His music sounds like it was made for army members to install fear into their lives. Now I'm gonna show you why. Just take a look at this. 
I'm gonna go on YouTube and type in smoking skull type B just so we can get a taste of what his music sounds like. Now let's take a listen. I genuinely can't tell if Smoking Skull is being serious with some of his songs. Cause sometimes it just seems like this nigga goes in the booth and just starts trolling. And by trolling, I mean fucking screaming. Stacking up blicks, nigga like Jang. You on my wave like Topanga. But I can't put him too low on this list because he is capable of making good music. Unlike a certain individual on this list. Xavier Soul Bass. Yo, I'm being so honest right now. Is this nigga even a rapper? And I don't even mean that in a disrespectful way, but Xavier just seems like an internet personality more than a rapper. But aside from that, Xavier Soul Bass is definitely one of the better rappers on this list. But he's still on this list because I don't like the way he raps. Like, yeah, the nigga is rapping, but it really just sounds like the nigga is talking or having a conversation rather than rapping. And to be honest, I really just feel like the nigga should just stick to making beats because the beats he be making are fire. I don't know, maybe it's just I don't understand the jerk wave, but, but that nigga does not know how to rap. There are more trash underground rappers, but it's 2024 and I'm trying to spread positivity. We're staying positive all year. It's only good vibes all 2024. Nesman is so fing high.